going on guys? My name is Marty Biggs. Welcome back to the video. In this one, to celebrate American Idiot's 15th anniversary, even though it happened on Friday, I'm going to be telling you guys my top 5 American Idiot songs. So let's get right into the video with our honorable mention, Wake Me Up When September Ends. Now don't get me wrong, Wake Me Up When September Ends is a great song. It is about Billy Joe's father dying, and it's sort of about 9-11. So that's pretty sad. It is a sad song, but I do like the guitar and I like the fact that it doesn't go with the story. It's sort of an outsider with American Idiot, which coincidentally is the next track on the list. However, for me, Wake Me Up When September Ends isn't as top five as the other five are, which is why it is my honorable mention. Anyways, on to American Idiots. Don't Wanna Be an American Idiot, the title track of the album. This is an album opener and a great one at that. This is a very hard and driving rock song. I love this song so much. It was recently said as the most dangerous song to play in the car, which to be honest is pretty hilarious especially by new standards. And yeah, and the most important thing about American Idiot is the political stuff. There is a lot of political stuff in this song from Bush era America because it was released in 2004 and that's when George W. Bush was in America. I'm from Canada so shouldn't know that much but yeah that is why I love American Idiot and that is why it is on my number five spot. Now on to number four. Now number four on the list is Homecoming. A nine minute five part song. That's right if you're not a casual Green Day fan this song has five parts. Oh my goodness. Now there is another song with five parts and it's nine minutes long and that is Jesus of Suburbia. But personally, I think that Homecoming is the superior nine minute five part song and you will see why. The thing that gets this over Jesus of Suburbia and American Idiot on my number five spot to the number four spot is that, again, it has five parts. Every part is great. There's great lyrics, great drums, great bass, great guitar. And the thing that gets this over is that all three band members sing a part of the song. Now, mainly Billy Joe Armstrong plays most of the song. But the fact that Mike Dern and Trey Cool sing a part of each song, like, it's a five part song. Mike Dern plays one, and Trey Cool sings one. The fact that they do that actually puts this over American Idiot and Jesus Burby. That's why it's my number four spot. It's actually surreal that they're, all three of them are singing. So yeah, on to number three, which is Holiday. Holiday at number three. I will tell you why right now. This is another hard and driving song by Green Day. Well, it is rock, so what do you expect? But I love about the song that there's guitar, there's drums on bass, obviously. And in the bridge, you will see or hear very political stuff, seeing how to the person gas man, bombs laser punishment, those are some of the lyrics that are in that bridge. You can see it's very political. And that goddamn bass line. The bass line is absolutely amazing, and that is why Holiday is number three. At number two now is Letter Bomb. Now Letter Bomb at number two. The reason I think this is because the guitar in the start is great, the drums and bass are great as always, and there's this girl on the start that says, nobody likes you, everyone left you, throw out without you, having fun. And I really like that part. And of course, great lyrics. And if you didn't know, I'm an American Idiot. American Idiot is basically a rock opera, which means it's a story within an album. That's what I love about American Idiot. And this song is basically the turning point of the story. Because this is when What's Her Name breaks up with St. Jimmy. Since St. Jimmy goes on an existential crisis, and where he turns back into Jesus suburbia and goes back to his home, which is homecoming. That's what I love about the song. It's a turning point in the story, and that is why it's on number two. And at number one, you have probably saw this coming if you're a best friend of me, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Now, Boulevard of Broken Dreams actually has a soft spot in my heart. This is the very first Green Day song that I listened to in the Stations of the Cross. You might think that's pretty weird, but it is a... This was a real life version of the Stations of the Cross, and this was for Station 2. Many of you guys that are watching this may remember that, 
So yeah, this has a soft spot in my heart, and the bass, guitar, and drums are always great, and that instrumental part at the middle gets me a lot. The lyrics are very, very relatable, and it is one of the many songs that I can play on guitar, which I will demonstrate right here. So that is my top 5 list. That's going to be the end of the video. Now this is going to be the last video unfortunately that I'm going to post in a while. And you will see at the end of this because if you see there is still a bit left in the video. However, that's going to be it for the list. So thank you guys for watching this video in advance. Goodbye. What? You don't know I make music? Huh? Well, I do. And I'm here to announce my brand new debut album that's coming testing. This is a nine track concept album that I'm making and it is going to be around, I don't know how many minutes long I haven't checked, however it's going to have a bunch of types of music or genres such as pop, rock, and electronic, different types of music such as parodies and downright originals with different instruments such as guitar, bass, and drums. And also using acoustic guitar and obviously since I don't have electric guitar, bass, and drums, I use GarageBand. So, that is going to be it for my announcement. I took, also, I have a SoundCloud! Wow! So, that's going to be it for the announcement. That's really going to be it. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Later!